Coast Coast Swing Dancers, as you know, as you should know, is myself and the talented Miss Stephanie. We're going to show you uh, what we taught for the weekly class here at Next Time Club. It is a whip. Now, you know the standard basic whip is your normal whip where she does pivot turn, she does a coaster, she goes back to where she was. This is a whip as well, but it's so different from what you're normally used to seeing. So that's we're going to break it down for you and make it hopefully make sense. So thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe for a free video every week. We hope you like it and use it as much as we do. This starts with her right hand, my left hand. The only way to really do this first part is do the first four steps and then break it down and show you how we got it. So after the sugar push, we're going to go to four, one, two, three, and four. Now I know that seems like a lot and looks like a lot. It's called a pretzel whip because basically you're making each other look like a pretzel. I'm going to go underneath her right arm on one, two, pulling her towards me. By me turning to my left, she's going to slark, start to turn over right basically because of the momentum. So on one, two, I'm going to go on one, and I'm going to go on two. What I do also with my, so this direction with my right hand, on one, I turn my wrist to the left, which means it rotates her shoulder, rotates her body. So going in this direction, I'm going to go one, two, three, and four. Now I'm coming through, and the hard part here is really the connection with the elbow. So on one, two, I raise her right, I go one, I go two. Now I'm half, my back is towards the track. Now if Stephanie can stay like that, She's a little twisted. She's already done her turn on two. Now she's gonna do her coaster for three and four, which makes, if you look at her, she is twisted. Her left arm is out in front. You better show it this, uh, this direction. One, two, three, and four. So her weight's on her right foot coming forward, and I'm on my left foot. And we've got our arms almost connected, but the main point of this part is on four guys, on one, two, one, two, this elbow come through. Try not to break connection or even bump her in the head. Not a good thing. So go ahead and find back. Show you how I get under the arm and go under. And then I step back and get out of the way. That's the key to this. Go under and then I back up. That's the four. Remember the last part of the whip is an eight count. So just to finish it, we go one, two, Three and four, five, six, seven and eight. So we're going to go to four again and stop. One, two, three, four. I'm pulling her forward on her right foot. Raise her right hand. Now you're going to keep the connection low with your back just for five. On five, pull her through, let her turn on right foot six, and then she anchors for seven and eight. Is this leadable? I think it is. But if it's a fast song, she's not going to feel it. You're going to have a good follow as well. One, two, three, and four. Five, six, seven, and eight. So, guys, show it to her first just so she feels comfortable because it's something you probably haven't seen before. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Guys, get off the track. Remember, on four, as she's turning to the right, keep out of the way, but then get back on the track. And then you do her, she does her anchor, and you finish with your anchor. It's a cool move. It's a pretzel. Thank you, Ms. Stephanie. That's a fun move, guys. We certainly hope you like it and that you use it next time you go dancing. Until next time, have a great week. Keep dancing. Bye -bye.